What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball Box Break video. Today we have a big mail day. Not quite as huge as uh, the mail day we did a couple weeks ago, but still lots of cool stuff in here that I'm super excited to show off, so I'm going to go through all that stuff. Uh, real quick announcement. Um, Instagram, Big J Basketball on the back. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and check that out. Doing a big sale today. Um, I already posted the cards for sale earlier today, so by the time this goes up, some of the cards may be sold already. But uh, selling some big cards to fund some PC purchases, which hopefully you'll see show up in future mail day videos. So both these cards in the back, the KD Glass Black Label BGS and the LeBron Bowman Chrome Rookie PSA 9 are both for sale. Um, so go ahead and hit me up on Instagram if you're interested in any of those, as well as a few other cards, uh, some lower end rookie autos, Sam Hauser to 99 like 25 bucks, Bones Highland about 35 bucks, IO Blue 49, 50 bucks. We also got some more, uh, some other KD stuff. We got this Lux four color patch, number 225, on card auto from Court Kings, also number to 25, 19 out of 25. We also got Jamal Murray Gold Wave PSA 10, that's a pop two, and a Zion Prism Draft Silver PSA 10. So all that stuff is for sale. Um, should all be posted on my Instagram. Again, some of these may be sold by the time this video goes live, um, but anything still available, go ahead and let me know if you're interested in any of those cards. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell for notifications so you get notified whenever we post new stuff. We've already done a couple of videos this week, so this is the third one in a row, so lots of uploads this week. We'll take a break for Thanksgiving tomorrow, and then uh, I'll have a new video on Friday as well. So first package in the mail day, this one's coming from Plano, Texas. So you guys, if you have followed previous uh, BGS reveals in the past, you've already seen these two cards. But I'm going to show them off again because they just came back from BGS for the second time. <laughs> and the reason they had to get sent back is that they put the wrong labels on both of these Morning Exquisite cards. They had the label for this card in this holder and this one and that, so it was reversed. So I just had to ship the cards back. They fixed the labels and it was really fast. It took honestly like maybe a week or two for them to get the cards, fix the labels, ship everything back. Two awesome cards, two, probably two of my favorite Alonzo Morning cards in my entire collection. One of these days I'm going to do an Alonzo Morning uh, personal collection video. Just haven't, <laughs> haven't gotten around to it yet. Maybe now that I got these back in the right slab, I'll do that pretty soon. Okay, let's get on with the rest of the mail now. All new stuff. So what do we got here? We got from the card treasury. Thank you for your purchase. There you go. And it's going to be another clearly Donruss defying gravity. Donovan Mitchell. So I uh, showed off the LeBron that I picked up in a previous mail day and I said I'd probably go after the set. So I guess I'm doing it now. Um, it's just an awesome looking set. I really like the acetate. I like the these kind of like star shapes with the you know, like see-through design on the acetate kind of reminds me a little bit of uh the linchpins insert card from the 90s which is a super expensive super rare insert these are way way cheaper but i do kind of think the design is kind of somewhat similar to those old linchpin inserts we got another one who 7030 i think i've bought cards from this guy in the past because i remember this uh this little sticker here or not sticker the business card that they included Blake Griffin. This was like one dollar. I don't think Blake Griffin cards are going for a lot. The Donovan Mitchell was really cheap as well. We got one more from the set, and this one was not as cheap. There we go. Zion. Kind of the one of the main reasons I wanted to go after this set was just because this is such a cool looking card. And we got, hey, look at that. Bonus Zion kind of thrown in there. Throw this in the bottom here. It's the same photo they used on his one-in-one -one rookie card, which is probably one of his best rookie cards. Um, they also use the same photo on his uh, second-year card, uh, Hoops Tribute, um, from the 2020-21 set. But I like that this one is a is a rookie year insert since it's from 2019-20. Just awesome photo, awesome card all the way around. Doesn't get much better than that. So already making good progress on that set. Have, I think, one more maybe on the way. And just waiting for some more to show up on eBay so I can start picking up some more of those. All right, I think we might have some Denny cards, if I'm not mistaken. This one came with a loop. 
did not buy this on loop, bought it on eBay, but it looks like they're, whoever I bought it from is trying to advertise their business or it just says loop, okay. <laughs> Denny, short print rookie, blue. Is it blue or is it purple? I'm actually not sure. Violet, I don't know what color they're calling this, but it's short printed, two of 25. Very cool, happy, excited to have. Uh, I haven't bought a ton of his Illusions rookie cards, but number to 25, kind of a no brainer to pick that up in a cheap auction. Again, I, I, I think I paid less than 10 bucks for that. So his short print stuff is not expensive at all. Got another Denny, Optic, SGC10. Optic Pink Velocity, number to 79, rated rookie. I got this number 71 to 79. I won this at auction for $26. It probably cost a person more to grade it and they got a 10 than it was to sell it. So, you know, when you're, when you're looking to grade cards to flip them, a lot of modern cards I don't, I don't think look great in SGC slabs. I'm not a huge SGC fan. Maybe I'll just either crack it out or maybe cross the PSA at some point if I really want to, but I might just keep it raw, honestly. I probably would have paid 26 bucks just for the just for the card itself. Um, but yeah, SGC 10s, man. In some modern cards, it just I just don't think it makes sense to use SGC, especially if it's a player like Denny Avdia, who obviously I like, but clearly not a super big name. <laughs> so happy to get that one pretty cheap. We got another optic in here. This one came from Korea, I think, or the Philippines. And there's some soccer cards in there, but I know there's a Denny optic card waiting in there for me. So let's get these soccer cards out of the way. Hey, that guy's good, isn't he? Pulisic. <laughs> okay, we got Denny Avdia, optic rated rookie blue. And the cool thing about this one, nine out of 59. Short print and jersey number. I don't have a whole lot of jersey number Denny cards. Um, and again, this was an international auction that ended at a weird time. I got this for like $15. So I'm definitely loving the prices on Denny coming down and picking up some of his stuff really cheap. This one was not as cheap, but still a really cool looking card that I could not pass up when I saw this listed on eBay. Boom. First off the line, Blue Wave Spectra RPA. And this one is number two, 30. 21 out of 30. I only had one other Spectra RPA. I think it's number 249, I believe. Um, but I really like the Blue Wave on this one. Very cool. Uh, looks awesome with the, uh, with the Wizards colors. First off the line exclusive, three color patch. I kind of wish they would have put, since this is first off the line, it would have been nice to put a little bit of a better patch. I mean, I like that it's three color and kind of chunky, but it would have been cool to see like a part of the number or part of the name or team logo or something like that. But still a really cool card. This one definitely cost me a little bit more than uh, the other Optic rookies, but that's probably to be expected. Um, just a few cards left since this is sort of a shorter mail day. And this was a cheap one, but a fun one. Alonzo Morning Stadium Club, first day issue. These are not serial numbered, but I think the print run is known to be a thousand for all these. Um, so again, not a lot of, this is from 93, 94. So it was a second year card. Um, and it was the first year that they didn't have first day issue in 92, 93. So that there's no rookie card parallels of this. Um, but second year um, parallel issue, uh, first day issue. This is also not the base, it's the high court. It's kind of like a subset within the base set, um, but I actually already have the base card in first day issue from this year. So I saw this one and wanted to add it. Uh, so I had both of them, this one to go along with the base card. So very cool, happy to add that Zo. Um, and before I get to the last two, there was this one as well that I picked up. I, I think this came in a PWE and I <laughs> think I may have thrown out the envelope that it came in but made a couple more pickups on the morning uh, 2021 Prism Rainbow Chase. This is the Green Ice Fanatics exclusive. Um, not sure what the print run is exactly on these, but they've been running these since 2019 in Fanatics exclusive. Uh, I, think, I guess they called them blaster boxes in 2019 and 2020, but basically they were mega boxes with 12, cards per bo or 12 packs per box. Um, and the mega boxes from this year, they actually called them mega boxes. I wasn't able to get any 
Um, and I haven't seen a ton of these on eBay, so they're probably about as rare as they were in previous years. I think the print run was estimated to be somewhere around 100, so I wouldn't be surprised if the print run on that one is about the same. Um, so happy to add that. And then we also got one more morning fast break blue. This one is number two, 150. So two more nice ones off the rainbow chase. I think I'm a, I may have just crossed the halfway point. I, I, there's a couple more that I already won that are on the way. I think when I get those and I'll be past the halfway point. So still a ton out there that I haven't gotten yet. All right. Last package here. You can tell this is another eBay authenticated package. And this is going to be a card that you, if you've seen previous mail days, you're probably going to recognize this. But I'll still slow roll it to see. Collection is upgraded. And let's see, what do we got here? That looks like some more gold. <laughs> Another gold refractor from 09 2010 Topps Chrome. The very last year that Topps made basketball cards before Panini took over. So I just bought one of these a few weeks ago for more than I paid for this one. The reason I went after this one is because the one I bought is already at PSA. I don't anticipate getting it a 10 because it was a little off center. This one is looks pristine. The centering could not be perfect, more perfect on this card. It's 50-50 all the way around. Absolutely beautiful copy of this card. Um, even the back looked clean. Let's open this one up. Back centering, not perfect. Um, definitely a little thicker up here than down there, but it still should be within the tolerance for hopefully getting a 10 from PSA. Eh, maybe a little bit of white on that corner little bit of white in that back corner. So I don't know this, it still might not get a 10, still might only get an eight. This one's numbered 11 out of 50. You can see it up there in the corner. But the one that I already graded, it's already a PSA. I think that submission is already in QA1. So hopefully that'll be coming back soon. Um, this one just looks better. It's, it's better centered. It has a better eye appeal. So I'm going to send this one into, even if this gets a nine, um, which would be kind of a bummer because I think it Probably one of the better looking, yeah, I don't know. This this top left corner, I'm thinking might be enough. There's enough white there that will probably keep it from getting a 10. But if the other one gets a nine and this one gets a nine, I'll probably sell the other one and keep this one just because it's a better, a better centered version. Um, but either way, this is definitely gonna be going to uh, PSA at some point too. So crazy that uh, <laughs> I hadn't seen one of these pop up for, I don't know, years, very long time. Uh, and then two of them popped up within weeks of each other. And it's crazy that I spent a lot more on the first one, which didn't look as good as this one. Um, just because, you know, typically when a car doesn't come up for a while, the first one that shows up sells for a lot. If there's another one that shows up right after that, um, a lot of times it goes for cheaper. So happy I got this one cheaper and very cool. That's gonna do it. So a little bit of a shorter mail day video today, but still some really cool stuff. Uh, like I said, a reminder, if anybody is interested in buying some cards, both the LeBron and the KD back there are for sale. Can't guarantee they'll still be available by the time this video goes live, as well as some other cards. Um, I've already gotten a little bit of interest on some of these, so some of these may be sold by the time this video goes live. But if not, if you're interested, go ahead and hit me up. Leave a comment and hit me up on Instagram. Hopefully we can get a deal done. I can buy some new cards. So that'll hopefully show up in a future Big J Basketball mail day. But that's going to do it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.